Thank you for joining me today as I take you through this color process. So here is the before color we were starting with. Um, there were lots of yellow undertones and we wanted to um, do a retouch on her root and tone out as much of the golden tones that you see here. And so I used Flash Lift by Redken and pH Bonder and I believe I, yes, I did 20 volumes starting out and then my last mix I bumped it up to 30. So right here I do start out with a board and it's just easier to get around the ear that way with using a board and so um, I did a um, classic baby fine highlight right here and then the next one I do a fine section thin um, section here I'm going to baby light it and then I'm going to tease it and then I do this pattern all the way up to Ever, like all around <laughs> where I am foiling so that is my pattern I'm doing a baby light a regular classic baby light and then the next section I do um, the teasing and on some of them I don't I kind of do like um, a V um, shape not take like kind of taking it not taking it all the way up to the root or like where the hair is I also did not fully saturate her ends. I feathered on the bleach onto those ends. We did need to bump them up a little bit, so that's why, you know, I did um, drag the bleach down um, onto the end, the pre-lightened parts, but I wasn't fully saturating it. Just so you guys know, I am keeping the integrity of her hair, and we did add pH bonder and um, at the shampoo bowl, I will do the second process to the pH bonder. As you can see on this foil, I did, this is the one where I'm doing the tease light, and I just wanted to show you guys right there that um, I was using the Redken Blur Brush. It's so great for, um, you know, blending up into the root area. I don't know what I ever did without it. I don't have to use it on every single foiling, but sometimes if I've grabbed too much product and I don't wanna blend it all, all that product down onto the other pieces of hair, I will take my blur brush and it just helps kinda take off the excess product. So if you haven't tried one, you guys should give it a try. Um, shout out. out in this part of the video that um, it really color coloring is all in the techniques and what you're gonna accomplish through that and if you could see right there that section was so fine and so thin and most people would just want to get done with the sectioning and move on to the back and maybe take a bigger section but when you look at this, um, it is so fine and I think it really does make a difference. 
Success is in the details, guys, all the way. So I root smudged her with a 6N color gels and the color gels 10 volume. And then here is the formula for her toner. And so I'm just taking out the foils right here and um, smoothing out the bleach from root to end just to make sure it gets through. And um, so the teasing, oh, combing out this teasing is crazy. Um, so you are going to want to rinse out everything. I don't like to shampoo just yet before I do my root toning. So I just rinse it out really good and um, I put her pH bonder number two on and then I did um, Redken's, I think it's called uh, United One and it's like 25 benefits leave-in spray conditioner. And I put a lot of that on there and then I just started combing with my wet brush from the bottoms um, up till you get to the top. But this will take some time when you're doing the teasing. But um, when you guys see the results from this, it's so worth it. I'm so excited to show you. after you guys um, I was so happy with the blend and the toning and just everything about it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments um, if you guys have any other questions for me or if you have any other tips for me for the next